So I'm over here at Hemingway, and it looks like they have some really interesting bikes here. In particular, it looks like they're capturing the higher-end market. I'm seeing a lot of high-end stuff that I would normally find in an 8,000, 7,000 bike. But check this out. Even over here, we have this really small, cool little cruiser this Hemingway guy is riding. And that looks a lot of fun. It looks like something that my nephew would definitely want to ride around. It just looks really fun. Doesn't have any pedals though, but look at him go. Hey, is this for kids only? Yeah, you want to try? Oh, I'll definitely try it out later. Yeah, that, that looks really fun. Is that for sale right now in the US market? Where can I get it? Hemingway.com or is it? You can get it from Hemingway.com or from our dealer. Okay, great. How much is that roughly? Check with our dealer. Okay, I'll check with your dealer. That looks fun. Now I'm gonna come by and try it out, try it out later. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so as you can see, they, they have a wide variety of things. And it looks like it's the designs, they're not necessarily copying what a lot of other bike places are doing. They're doing things a little bit different here now. And they're definitely showcasing a lot of the stuff that, that would be an upgrade, at least for me personally. And I really like the designs. This one kind of reminds me of a little bit of the Aventon. A little bit beefier. I definitely like the integrated rack. Looks like Aventon definitely has a lot of competition going on. So their PR people are a little bit busy right now, but I'm gonna come by and uh, we'll talk with them a little bit later in the week. We'll set up a little bit of appointment to check it out. Let me know if you have any questions about this that I can go and ask in person. Oh, what's your name? And my name is Marty, Marty Lowe. Martin Hello. Lowe? Yeah. Martin Lowe. Okay, great, Martin. Can, can you show us some of your new models that you're introducing this year? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm really excited to see these new designs. Yeah. yeah. For now, this bike is our latest Cobra Pro, yeah. named the D7 Pro. It's an upgraded version with a double crown, inverted front fork, and the air shock from Rock Shocks. And we upgraded the Gearing, the gearing is from Shimano, okay. Q's, e-bike tuned to so make it stronger, cassette with the chain line, and another side, let's see the brakes. We upgraded the four piston, oh, four pistons, yeah, right. four piston brakes, yeah. yeah. And the front is a bigger rotor and thicker. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. That's 200, what, 200 some millimeters? 203. 203 millimeters? Yeah. And then the Pafang, which Pafang motor is this one? It's an M six hundred and twenty, oh, nice, nice. one thousand watts motor. And uh, you see that chopper post? I see it. Made it's easy ride. Right. Yeah, for your mountain biking, huh? it's easy ride. Right. Yeah, easy I, like this. I saw that. Yeah. This is a new model that is coming out this year. Yeah, this year. Okay. And what, what's the price range of this? Sorry. Well, what's the price? The price, the price, no change. It's still. Nearly six four four thousand. Nearly four thousand. Just four thousand US dollars? Yeah. Oh. Three nine nine nine. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. No, I, I didn't Amazing, know. right? Yeah. Piece up there. And I see that okay, so what rock shocks is this one? How much travel? It's forty five. Forty five millimeter. millimeter travel for yeah. Okay. yeah. Got it. Oh, that's, that's very impressive. What's the range on it? The yeah. range, how, how far so can you ride on the... 80, 80 miles. Wow. Okay. Yeah, 80 miles 80 per miles. charge. Okay. Yeah. Right. Sense. Let's check out yeah, what, what, your other new model. Okay. Let's check this. Softail commuters. Our latest A7 Pro. Special tuned mid-drive motor from Aneta. And a nice speed G gear from Shimano. And Shimano brakes. Hydraulic brakes. Suspension. Front and rear, front and rear is from Santo. Centaur. Yeah, and the DM. Right, right. All air suspension. Uh -huh. And the both specs, both front and rear. Well, it's easy to change in both the valves. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's very nice. And I see you got this integrated in here. Yeah. Uh, is you... this a Buffang thing that's integrated or uh, your own? It, our own. Oh, it's okay. our own LCD screen. Let me show you. You see that? Oh yeah, I see that. Uh -huh. oh, that's a beautiful display. Mm -hmm. Still five Very levels. Nice. Okay. I see that. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's a adjustable angle. Uh huh. We're riding, and that's the throttle for U.S. version. Yes. And we have Euro version without uh -huh. this throttle. Yeah. Got it. And I'm 
max speed is a class three? Uh, that's class one. Class one? Yeah. Okay, uh, class one. Uh, sorry, class three. Class three. Class three. Class three. Okay. Okay. So, okay. And I see that you have this uh, ABUS lock here, which yeah, is very sure. nice and convenient. Is that included as well with the yeah, bike? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's great. And in this too? Right. Yeah. The MIK. I like how it's all integrated. Make, in yeah. It, it's very beautifully done. And uh, it's a hanger. For trailers, you can put pull the plug out and put the trigger. Uh, yeah. Got it, got it. And roughly, how much is this this nice model over here? You mean the price? Yeah, right? the price. Um, we don't know yet. Yeah, we don't. Know. Okay. All yeah. right. All right. It, it's great. This looks like an upgrade. My brother rides one of these similar type of style bikes. Huh? He took one look at it. He said this is an upgrade from whatever oh, he's riding. Thanks. So yeah, he was yeah. looking forward to it. So he personally would like to get this model just for commuting around. Uh -huh. Okay. And you said you have the third model that's brand new? Uh huh. Let's see the full carbon e e mountain bike. Yeah. It's an enduro bike and the travel is much, much long as yeah, you can see, see, right? The front is 180 millimeter. The rear travel is 170 millimeter. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you're definitely going off road. Yeah, for sure. This. For sure. Yeah. I, I like that. Is the paint included or is that extra? Yeah, extra. No, the paint style. Do you have to pay extra for this paint? Uh, of course not. <laughs> That's the general It's, it's a paint. beautiful yeah, paint thanks. job on there. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, yeah. And I gotta ask, is this like an eight thousand dollar bike from you? Might be over ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. Sure. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I, I just had to ask. Uh, but yeah, we, yeah. we have a pro version. Okay. It's 5,000 to 6,000. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. more affordable. So why is this one more affordable than that one? I can tell that uh -huh. the shocks are a lot beefier on that one. You see okay. that electronic seat post, uh -huh. chopper post. Oh, wow. And electronic gearing from Strum. Oh, there That's the latest T-type. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I see. So you got the stuff on this Yeah. One. Electronic shifting. Uh-huh. Electronic uh, dropper. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see that right there now. And yeah, uh, as you can see, yeah. the DT hub. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So With carbon rims. Car carbon rims. Wow. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. And the Chevrolet tech chain. The champion choice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. This yeah. way, now I'm thinking it's around the $15,000. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That, that makes sense. sense. So, oh. so here it would be the, what I thought was an 8000 but you say 6000 yeah. 5000 to 6000 okay. Yeah, sure. That makes sense. You know why? Because I don't ride the super high-end stuff. Huh? I, I just don't. Yeah. I, I can't afford that. <laughs> this one I could afford. Feel this is to, around my price range. Yeah, feel free right. to ride. Right. Okay, so I see you still have the nice, wow, these rock shocks. Huh? Yep. Beautiful paint job. Yeah. It's not carbon fiber anymore, right? Full carbon fiber. Oh, it's still full carbon fiber. Yeah. Okay. All right. A steel wheel dropper uh -huh. and the e bike forks. Zip Select Plus. The travel is 160. Okay, so 20 uh -huh. millimeters less. Uh huh. That's it. And then we have the, what is this one? Is this uh, SRAM, SRAM, or? SRAM. SRAM GX. SRAM GX equals. Uh, okay. Tail speed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, I have something similar on my own bike right uh -huh. now. And so this, this one I understand. Uh -huh. This is more my price range. <laughs> but how about the motor? Is it the same motor? Same motor. Oh, That's same, same motor. motor. So you get similar performance as far as of E course. assist. Of course. All right, all right. And then the control panel and everything uh -huh. here looks similar. Yeah, because to that one. Okay. That's a prototype sample mm -hmm. for the general release. Uh -huh. We will remove the display. Right. Invert it to free. Yeah. Fully integrated. Yeah. Okay. Same thing with that one too? Yeah, of course. Okay. Got it. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like what you guys are doing. Oh, that's very impressive. Oh, same thing. Okay. Now, as far as the dealership network, we just go on himaway.com and find out where local dealers have it. Do you have mm -hmm. any in California? Yeah. Do you have California. dealers in California? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Check it out. All right. So those are the three models introducing? Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Cool.